Hey YouTube and welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. Today I have a Topps knife, the Topps Cub. It's a little mini survival bushcraft camp knife, I would say. This is just going to be kind of my informal chat with you all. Just my opinion on the blade. I'm not going, it's a small blade, so I'm not going to hack through a log, you know, with this blade. I'm not going <laughs> to BS you that way. But let's take a look at this now. Micarta handle scales, very nice. I have to say, the simple yet effective handle shape, I really like that. It flares out. It's almost perfectly sized for my hand. I have a medium large hand, and you see it goes almost to the end. Right, so definitely digging the handle. What I also like is full tang design, strong, simple. I like how it's almost a mini barong. You see the belly begins like halfway down the blade, giving you a huge curvature right, for all your slicing needs. All right, so, oh, and it is uh, high carbon steel, 1095. All right, and overall, uh, I got this because it's attractive and functional design. It has a fairly pointed tip. You can do some nice work with that. And uh, this is not meant as a, as a uh, you know, hardcore testing review. I'm going to snap this knife in two to prove I'm a man. No, this is just me looking at the knife and telling you my opinion on the design. Although, as you can see, it's got some good piercing ability. I mean, I wouldn't be afraid to, uh, to use this knife hard. I wouldn't, you know, don't, don't abuse it. I mean... This wood is crap because we just had we just had a uh, thunderstorm. Okay, so take this with a grain of salt. But I'm really just as I talk, I just want something to do. So whatever. Might shave some pieces off this piece of wood. Now this knife, the cheapest I found it is ninety dollars, and that is at Knife Supply. I've also seen it for as much as $123. All right, so step one in survival, make sure your wallet survives, don't get ripped off. <laughs> Do I think it's worth the 90 when I can get a Mora knife for 20? And a Mora knife is pretty good. Well, yes and no. If you're on a tight budget, yeah. Get a Mora knife. I mean, most of my subscribers already have a Mora, so it's kind of a mute point. It's not like competing with the Mora you've ha already have. Uh, but you do get a few upgrades for your your dollars. I mean, the micarta handle scales primarily. Let's talk about this handle. That's for fire making, different methods of fire making. But the divot is also useful for indexing, right? Because you see that your fingertips naturally fall into that divot if you want to uh, switch grips not that that's necessarily a big issue but it's cool see that right there that thumb rest is very useful for certain types of cuts in bushcraft right cutting away from you so that I like that a lot that little uh, touch and there's one on both sides if you had to cut towards yourself. If you, all right, but yeah, they. I mean, those are all good little touches. Oversized lanyard hole. All right, let's talk about the extras that seem to be increasing the price. Unfortunately, comes with this sheath. Has a plastic insert there. Now, as you can see, the knife is not fitted to the insert. All right, see that. All right, so, you know, it'll come right out. All right, and therefore, you got this Velcro strap here, and you even got this, because with a survival knife, they're afraid that if you lose your knife, you're totally sunk, so they actually put this there to even make it more secure. Uh, Molly compatible, nylon. You know, I gotta say, sometimes the sheaths on these things, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and more straps and more pockets and over flaps and it, it just, it just becomes a monstrosity. All right, so I like the knife. I wish the sheath 
was more minimalistic. It has a pocket there. But, you know, the features that bump up the price don't end with the sheath. It comes with a whole bunch of party favors. <sighs> you know, I definitely have mixed feelings about knives that come with a bunch of stuff. Because inevitably, you know, they can't give you the top of the line stuff because it would then it would be even more expensive. Um, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say we would love if you would just give us just the knife itself with a minimalistic sheath and cut some, make the price lower, you know? Uh, if I could have bought this knife without all this and with a, just a smaller, simpler sheath for like $30 less or even $20 less, I would have gladly done it. I don't need another compass, you know? But I understand what they're trying to do, you know, that guy fantasy of just surviving in a jungle with nothing but what's on your hip. You know, oh man, it's not just a knife, it's a whole kit. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I understand why they do it. But here's what you get. Let me just show you the items. Top's whistle. Some high visibility tape. Come rescue me. Wave this at the helicopter. Tiny signal mirror. Carabiner. Ranger band. Little compass. The magnifying glass. And this box contains fishing line, fish hooks, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, kind of dollar store stuff. Let's focus on happy things. Let's focus on the knife itself. I really like the knife. I'm not trying to be negative. It's just that, like, most of my subscribers had stuff like this when they were 10 years old already. You know what I mean? Like, most of them made a little kit like this when they were in Cub Scouts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I would gladly buy the knife without the kit if it, I could save a little bit of money. So there you go, honest opinion. Now there are certainly plenty of options in this category. This just breaks the surface, all right? You got the Topps Cub right there. Uh, all right, let's say you don't want to spend $90 on a outdoorsy knife. You got the Gerber D2 Metolius for $30. I have the folding knife version of this, which I've actually used a lot. And it's the exact same ergonomics, so I can say, uh, you know, I don't, often recommend a Gerber, but in this case, for 30 I recommend a Gerber. I might do a full review of that in the future. This is a Boker Tough. It's a pretty cool knife. I think that's around 30 as well. This is the knife I actually use. I've shown this in a million videos. It's a $15 knife from Finland. Not made anymore, but the company is Martini. They make similar things. More budget blades in around the same size range. These Shrades. All right, this is a Shrade Model 14. All right, and this is a Shrade that I might review in the future because I really like that blade shape. And it's the Shrade Model 24. And obviously these are substantially lower price than the $90 some Cub. Now, I gotta say, just in general, I really love this uh, blade length category of around three and a half inches because it's enough blade length to do some work, but it's, um, it's feasible to carry. More of an outdoor no knife because, uh, I, I don't know, if you, I don't know if, you, if you were in a suburb, I don't know if you would necessarily carry this. You might want to carry something a little smaller. Guess it all depends, but still, a very convenient size category. All right, my overall thoughts on the Cub. Great handle shape. I like the little touches there. Strong full tank construction. I like the high carbon steel. Yeah, definitely perfect perfect size for a medium large size hand. Love the curvature of the belly. Great for slicing. The tip is pointed enough to pierce, but it's also, it's also fairly strong. The micarta handle material gives a good grip, and it especially gives a good grip when it gets wet. So overall, good knife. Do I like the price? 
Mm. You know, you got $30 Mora knives that'll do a lot, but they don't have all the bells and whistles, so I guess it's a question of whether you strictly just want something you could, could get by with, or uh, you want to upgrade to, you know, a few nicer things like those handle scales. And as we discussed, the survival kit, let, let's not talk about, <laughs> let's not talk about the survival kit anymore. But another thing about this handle, it's symmetrical. Not that this is a tactical knife or anything, but um, symmetrical handle allows you to hold it edge in and do uh, what are sometimes called reaper techniques or just draw cuts. Another reason I like the handle. But yeah, overall, I mean, I wouldn't have got this knife if I didn't overall like the knife. I would recommend it, but not for people on a tight budget. But $90 ain't so bad, really. I mean, how much is how much is a pair of two? Like most people's folding pocket knife costs more, or a lot of people's on here anyway. All right, so that's my opinion. Hope you enjoy just this little informal stump top discussion of this tops knife. It's been we all juggle knives. I'm out.